there is an experiment to test how far this young generation can take up a challenge. And I was quite impressed over the period of five days. Today is the final day, and I watched one of the uh, groups. Uh, final product, uh, I was blown away and it was very impressive the way that they did VR and for decades children are taught by the contents that we adults created but now we are changing that to we co-create with them for the learning contents that they passionately created so I am really impressed by their work and I am proud to say that these 11 years old, 12 years old are uh, the very first one not only in Myanmar but also in uh, other parts of the world to not only be the user of this VR content but they are the creators of the learning content that they want to share with other learners. So through YouTube channel they'll be able to share with the world that what they have created. So um, it's exciting. Exciting to see these impressive products coming out of Dalish College, Yango to the wall. Way to go. Uh, the reason why we wanted to run the VR hackathon at Delish College Yangon is so that we can prepare our students for the 21st century. Um, there are many schools out there that are looking at coding, but we believe in the next 10 to 15 years that coding will be redundant because artificial intelligence will be able to do that. So we're looking for the next horizon in order to challenge our students. Uh, we think virtual reality and augmented reality is the way forward. How do I see the future of education as a whole? <sighs> I think the skills that we need to develop for our students for the 21st century need to be an amalgamation of maths, English, science, technology. We need to make sure that our students are well versed in all of these, and that they have the ability in order to learn from failure, because from learning from failure, you'll only get stronger and you'll develop your skills. And I think this is particularly important because in the next 10, 15 years, there'll be around about 250 to 300 people who are applying for any one job. This has increased tenfold. We need to make sure that our students within the next 10, 15 years are resilient. Uh, there are three main things that we need to consider in this uh, VR hackathon. First is we need to know the audience, who are the participants of uh, this uh, event. Uh, when we know uh, this event is for the children aged between 11 to 12, so we have to uh, develop a new course which is suitable for their age. Uh, we can't uh, run a course which we used to run for adults, for, for the kids. So we develop a new course with our team uh, and then we come up with a final finalized uh, course outline and then uh, after that, uh, we do the training. Of course, uh, this is like, uh, we got three weeks and two, two days per week. And in each week, we have different themes to deliver uh, the course. Uh, in the first week is like introduction to the VR and then uh, uh, the basic operation of the VR uh, cameras and how do we do. And then uh, later on, we continue to editing and then mixing and then exporting it uh, to the final one. They know that they can also experience VR with the smartphone and the cardboard, which is uh, really, really affordable. This has been a fantastic opportunity and experience for the students. Um, they've been able to engage with new and developing technology. Um, I think before the children came in, they knew a lot about VR and what it was. However, they thought it was sort of playing a lot of games. Um, but this has given them the opportunity to um, not only use, but create their own VR films. Well, initially the students had worked with VR uh, as a game and nothing more so their reaction was very keen at the start they wanted to just play games but even once they had got over that initial reaction they became very engaged in the task in the project they were working on and maintained that enthusiasm and that engagement throughout the whole project so that they had a, a product to present uh, at the end of it all so as well as those technical skills they also developed teamwork skills and uh, learning about choosing a good location, a good storyline, which then can be used outside uh, the, the hackathon environment and use it for a drama production or use it for uh, music production. Uh, 
And what I think 360ED is, is doing is really unique uh, and extremely impressive. Uh, your hackathons look like a lot of fun and very inspirational for the students involved. Yes, and uh, what 360ED is doing is, is above and beyond what I've seen other uh, organizations trying to attempt. So uh, I think you guys are, are way ahead of your time. Um, you know, it, 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 it is really impressive what you're doing. Thank you and, and good luck and, uh, um, and see you in VR. Thank you.